Welcome, welcome, welcome. In the event that you missed, well, then again, I guess you'd have to be in my class to miss it, but whatever. Let's pretend you're all in my class and you missed a lab. Today, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna extract some deoxyribonucleic acid. Straight up, I'm gonna take it right on out of some strawberries. It's gonna be a bit dangerous, perhaps a bit wild, maybe a bit crazy, but we're gonna be safe while doing this. So, let's go ahead and extract some DNA. Okay, we'll need one of these, and one of these, and one of these, and one of these. That's detergent, that is secret recipe detergent solution. Don't even think about it. One of these, one of these, gotta clean this up. I like one of those things, maybe one of them things. It's not ideal, but my funnel's so pathetic that whatever. Gotta have one of these. Oh, ho, 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 yes. Yeah, that is ice, it works better. One of these, that's some cheese cloth. One of them, oh yeah. And that's a disgusting strawberry that I just thought out of the fridge. Gotta have it. And some warriors to protect us. All right, what do we got? Speed up. Listen, it's really important that when you squish this little thing that you get all the air out. That's all I'm saying. If you ever plan to recreate this thing, here's 10 mils of that secret magic formula detergent stuff. Again, make sure the air is out of that bag because if you start smashing it, kids will be all over the place smashing, breaking the Ziploc bag. It's a Ziploc bag for crying out loud. Anyways, so you just make sure it's as squished as possible. No large chunks, no nothing. Just get it done. See? Get people to help you, like this horse thing. So anyways, that's what you do. Alright, behold. This is what it should look like. A nice paste. See that? Oh, yes. Disgusting. Right, so setting up the old filtration system. I've got my mighty beaker and my mighty funnel. Behold, it's magic. Get your cheesecloth and put it in your filter because this is what's going to filter out all of the, the strawberry juice in no chunks. And so, you know what, after you put it in there like this, you just wait around. So, take a nap, listen to some tunes. Hey, that's a good idea. This is a big fat 250 mil beaker. And it's drip drop dripping and it's looking, you know, pretty sludgy, you know? Kind of weird, grody stuff, right? And you never ever want to poke it down too far so that it like breaks the cheesecloth, right? But it's sludge, right? It's not dripping too well. Most of the students freak out at this time and say, I don't have enough, I don't have enough. This is 250 mils, like look at this. Let's get down to the right level. Zoom on in. Ooh! Like, that's a ton. Actually, it's quite, quite right. If you, if you catch what I'm, what I'm throwing, perhaps if you're picking up what I'm laying down. Like, that's a big beaker that looks like just a little tiny little bit of stuff, but it's perfect. Okay take our deal and we take, you know, here's our extract. It's delicious to the taste. And we have our test tube holder with our mighty test tube. And we just go ahead and pour all of that stuff in. Oh, it's gonna be so great. I am so glad I'm wearing safety goggles because guess what? I'm safe from pretty much any danger or threat. Behold, we have a great amount, okay? 
Now, now that this is done, what we want to do is we have about an inch of, of strawberry extract and with a buffer solution. And so what we want to do is we want to take our mighty ethanol solution, which is crumbs on ice right here. Beautiful stuff. And I just want to stick this in here and as much strawberry extract, I'm going to pour ethanol. You don't need very much. See, that's a misconception. If you have a lot, you could use a lot, but you can see this beautiful, perhaps maybe if I put it in front of my lab coat, you can see it better. Oh yeah, because I'm like that. All right, see that? Now that's beautiful stuff. Separation of molecules or whatever. So pinky stuff is the strawberry extract on top, ethanol. Isn't that delicious? Okay, so we have the extract here. I wanna do this for you. So I have this wooden stir stick. It's actually a skewer. No pork and pineapple on it, observe. But here we go, we have this number right here. I want you to try and observe this. As I stick this thing down here, and as soon as I penetrate it, I can give it a bit of a little bit of a stir here, right? Oh yeah. Twirl it up a bit. Right? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Look at what we have here connected to the spoon. Ooh. Snot. Oh, it fell. See if I can't get it again, because that was actually quite nice. Can you see that dangler? Oh, it's dripping everywhere. Oh. Okay, anticlimactic? Maybe. It looks like snot. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is deoxyribonucleic acid. That's the good stuff right there. Okay? If I was a strawberry cell, I'd be dead, but whatever. But I'm not a strawberry cell, so I'm going to try that again. This stuff right here, this is the building blocks of anything. In order to become a strawberry, you need this deoxyribonucleic acid. And here we are, just snipping it out. Oh, look at that. Got it stuck on that tube. It's, it's a little gooey, slimy, really. But there you go. That is deoxyribonucleic it just dripped on my shoe. Beautiful stuff. Everything cleans up real nice, but there we have it. I should put that in slow motion. Let's see if I can get some more. Not my stick. Oh, that is so gross. Oh, I got it on the camera. Okay, anyways, I could play with this all day. And I probably will after I turn this off, but look at that stretcher. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad we had this ethanol to separate it. And I'm so glad that this DNA clumped together so that we can see it a little bit better. Look at all that, can you see that? I wonder if you can see it, how good that is. All that powdery stuff, just jibbling and jingling and jangling over there. That is DNA and that's fascinating stuff. And now I can go and recombine DNA, you know what I'm saying? I can like put some fish scales in this thing, make the strawberry, you know, well, not fish scales, fish DNA, DNA splicing. And maybe perhaps once I get this and I recombine the DNA of fish, this will survive in cold weather a little bit better. This is good stuff. This is science. And I love it.